Good day, Twalo Bears! And welcome to our new vlog. <laughs> Just that's going to be her uh, intro all the time. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our channel again. Today's topic, we're going to talk about how Janice and I met and the long process it, it took to get here to where we are today. So, where do we begin? Um, the day we met. The day the we met. Online. <laughs> right away, online. Yes, we did meet online. Yes. And so, let me give you a little bit of history, mm -hmm. how it all started. So, um, I had, before I had met Janice, I had already been doing some research about the Philippines, um, looking at different vloggers, talk about what it was like to be in the Philippines, where to live. I had heard, uh, um, because I was looking at cool places to live, I had heard Baguio is a cool place to live because the, the climate is nice and, and um, temperate. And then I heard about the Gaitai. Uh, being also a cool place. But then the biggest thing, uh, biggest place that uh, my friends back in Hawaii were telling me, a lot of my coworkers were that, and a lot of the vloggers were telling me, yeah, come to Cebu, come to Cebu, because there's a lot of women out here that uh, are um, that are beautiful, light skin, man, the most beautiful women are in Cebu. Of course, I, don't, I, I know that's not true now, but during the time, you know, a lot of people were filling my head with all these things like uh, come to Sepu, the most beautiful women are here. And so, of course, I was lonely looking for, you know, maybe a possible partner in the Philippines I could meet. So I decided to um, make a trip. Um, I made it like a year in advance. I had picked a hotel in that was near... Um, what was it? The mall. The mall? Where? Yeah, Ayala Mall. Yeah, Ayala Mall. I had picked a hotel that mm -hmm. was like right across the street. I'm not going to tell you the name of the hotel. But I picked a hotel near Ayala Mall. And I said, I'm going to stay here for how many weeks? Three. I I, mm -hmm. I picked three weeks. And I'm going to stay there at this hotel. And, and possibly, what did you say I was going to do? You're going to whore around. <laughs> Man. My wife says I was going to whore around. Well... I guess that's the truth. That's not whoring around. I was going to meet what somebody. What can you say? That's whoring around? Well, what do you call that? I don't know you what you call meet, that. You just, wait, just, you will meet random girls? Yeah, why and not? Just, well, how am I supposed to meet girls here in the Philippines? How was I supposed to... Where do I go to meet girls in the Philippines? I don't know. Well, so, through friends. I'm a nice guy. I was going to make a trip to the Philippines and hang around the mall and if we met at, at one of the restaurants or something like that, that would be cool. That's not okay. whoring around. <laughs> she says I was whoring around. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, it didn't happen and, and, okay. and I'll tell you why it didn't happen. So, a year in advance, I had planned to go uh, in 2015, I was going to make a plan, a trip for 2016 in April to uh, go to the Philippines. So, in that meantime, between 2015 and 2016, I was doing a lot of research. I was looking at a lot of vloggers, uh, expats, and how they met their wives. And I remember there was one vlogger who said, um, I didn't know how to meet Filipinas. So I, there was one vlogger who said uh, uh, he met his girl on DIA. And so I don't know if that state, site still exists or whatever. It was a it was a free <laughs> dating site. And I was, wasn't about to pay for some of these others. There's a few other dating sites out there, ones like... Filipino Cupid, there's uh what is the other one you um, said? Asian dating. Asian dating. There's a bunch there of them. There's a, a bunch lot. of like yeah. Asian dating sites mm -hmm. to meet Filipinas. And 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 most of them uh require payment. And I was like, man, I'm mm -hmm. not paying for no uh, subscription to meet a girl. So this uh guy vlogged that he had met his girl on the site called DIA, which is called Date in Asia. And it was free. I went on the site. Um, man, I felt like a rock star, man. As soon as I made a profile, put my face in there and I thought I wasn't going to get any, um, likes or anything because, you know, I'm a dark Filipino and from what I heard, most Filipinos wanted a white guy. Yeah. They like that straight nose. They wanted a white guy to meet and they wanted white babies. I said, man, I ain't going to get no play. I'm not going to get no love <laughs> yeah. from these Filipinos. Yeah. That's how I felt. So I went, I created a website. I created a profile. 
not a website, created a profile. Um, then I started chatting, right? Started chatting with all these Filipinas. Mm -hmm. And then I was chatting with about three or four. And then one of them, um, I started chatting with, we started talking, things were going okay. And then really got turned off when she says, hey, when you come meet me in the Philippines, will you bring me an iPhone and an iPad? And I said, delete. She said, you're <laughs> gone, man. I said, man, this is going to be hard finding a woman in the Philippines that I, I could get along with because, you know, there's so many, well, I thought at the time there's going to be all these scammers. Um, uh -huh. I'm never going to find, I'm never going to find the, my, my, the, the woman for me, right? So I just kept chatting with some of these girls, and then I meet this one. Yeah, I was in that site for a uh, yeah Holiday. website for like a month. You were in there a month. Mhm. Mm I was there a month. Why, why were you there a month? Um. You met guys. Not not to meet them, just to talk to them. You talk know? to them. Yeah, yeah. talk to the them. Chat, just chat with and them. And if ever they wanted to visit, then maybe I can meet them. Something like that. Okay. So who told um, you about this site? Uh, my sister, mm -hmm. my younger sister, uh, told me about the site. I'm not actually looking for somebody. Okay. Yes, someone. Okay. It's just uh, I think my sister saw that I am so lonely. Oh, not, 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 not. <laughs> Look, She's lying. <laughs> so, anyways, anyways, to make a long story short, I started chatting with Janice on that dating site, DIA. Um, we, we we talked for how long? About for about for about a month. For about a month. Mm -hmm. So were we always just on the chat, or did we go? Um, did we move to you know, after? To Skype? You no, know, after we met on the site, um, and then we wanted to get to know each other, and then so we uh, moved to. Uh, then we moved to Skype. Skype. And so I think we chatted. For, we we chatted for like. Uh, a few days, uh -huh. maybe, and then and then that got old. Yeah, just sending messages, messages, yeah. messages. So then we decided to do the Skype and messenger thing. So then we would we skyped for yeah. for about a month, right? Mm -hmm. We skyped for about a month, and then um, and then what happened? You got sick, right? I got sick. Yeah, after a month of chatting with you, maybe you're so, bad luck to me. <laughs> maybe I was bad luck. I don't know. So. We, I got we, we, yeah, yeah. We, but I didn't know that. So let me mm -hmm. backtrack. So um, a month later goes by. It's September 2015. Mm -hmm. And then so um, I'm a surgical tech. So I work in a hospital and I'm usually in an operating. My, my full day is working in uh, surgery. So I'm a surgical tech that stands next to the doctor giving him the instrumentation. So we do orthopedic surgery. So I, I, my whole day, I'm in surgery all day with the doctors and the nurses. So um, it's like six o'clock in the morning um, and we already have an LDR going, LDR meaning long distance mm -hmm. relationship, right? So for a month, me and her are like constantly to the wee hours of the night talking on Skype and, and Messenger, right? So uh, we got this little, we're killing, yeah, we're little, killing, what is killing? A little, um, love struck. A little love struck <laughs> with each other for that first month. Yeah, a little honeymoon stage, yeah. So. A month goes by, and then, and then, all of a sudden, I get a call from her. Um, she tells me, "Well, this is a few days before." Let me backtrack. A few days before, she she tells me, "Babe, I'm having some pains in my right side." Mm -hmm. And I said, "Well, go to the hospital. I'll pay for the hospital bill. Just want to make sure you're okay." And then, mm -hmm. and then, I didn't hear from you after that, right? No. No. The uh, second day, I, second I, day, I, she tells me, "Man, the pains are getting worse." That's what happened. So mm -hmm. I said, go to the hospital. So then I don't yeah. hear from her. Mm -hmm. And then um, the next day, I go to work. It's like 6 in the morning. And don't forget, don't forget, in America, in Hawaii, we we're like 6 hours, I think, ahead and a day ahead. So the time difference is different. So she calls me, I think it was midnight your time. It's, it was, it's in the morning already, my time. Okay, it was already in the middle of the night, though. Uh-huh. And it's like 6 six. Right, it's like six or seven my time. That's the and when the pain is really. I cannot really take it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, she so was having can, super bad pain. I can stand up. So then, then she, uh, she calls me up. I'm like, getting ready to go in surgery myself at my job, and so she calls me. She goes, "Babe, mm -hmm. I'm going into surgery in an hour." I'm like, "What?" 
I mean, this is crazy hearing this like uh, right right before you're getting ready to go into surgery yourself. So she says, I'm going to into surgery. And she says, they're going to cut me. I'm like, man, I'm going crazy. She's not even telling me like, why are they, why are you going to surgery? And that's all she says. I got to go. I'll, t- I'll talk to you later. I'm like, what? And then I'm like freaking out. And I'm like, and I'm like, how am I supposed to do surgery myself? I'm supposed to be in surgery doing my job. When all of a sudden my LDR girlfriend is saying that, you know, uh, all of a sudden she's going to surgery. They're going to cut me in an hour. That's all she says. Great. Thanks for telling me what was wrong with her. I didn't know it was an appendix or what. She just tells me, mm-hmm. uh, babe, in an hour they're going to cut me. I'm like, man. So I did my first surgery at my job. And then I rushed to my boss and I said, uh, Janelle, um, I just talked to one of the other techs. They could go ahead and cover me. I was wondering, um, can I go ahead? I mean, it's last minute. I know it's last minute. And I'm on schedule to do surgeries for tomorrow and the next days. I said, can I take a week off? Because um, my, my long distance girlfriend in the Philippines, she's having pain. She says she's having surgery. And then all of a sudden she cut off after telling me they're going to cut her. And, and then so she kind of like laughed my boss. She's like, Andrew, you haven't taken any leave for almost five years. I hadn't taken any uh, vacation time. She said, go. We'll let you go. Get out of here. I know it's too soon because normally you want to give your job a, a few weeks in advance mm-hmm. that you're going to take vacation, right? You don't just tell them, hey, can I take vacation tomorrow? But since I hadn't taken vacation like four or five years, they said, go, go, go. So I took the, I, 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 I just bought a ticket. And I said, man, I, I just told myself, I, I told her, um, I don't I don't think I talked to you. Did I talk to you tell you I was coming? Uh, yeah, you told me you're coming and I was on uh, still in pain and then I I told my sister to chat with you while I'm in the hospital because I cannot respond already there's no there's no signal in the hospital Mm -hmm. so yeah so you were chatting with Regina my younger sister so her sister was giving me information on uh, how to get to where they live in the Philippines and so I'd I'd never yeah I had never been to the Philippines before right I, you were a long time ago with my friends, ago. but I had never been to where she lives in the province, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So I was kind of like nervous, scared, what, not knowing what to expect. Yeah, and nobody would pick you up. And nobody's going to pick me up at the airport. Here I am, man, getting off on um, Naya International Airport, and I'm terrified. I'm like, man, there's thousands of people walking around. I was like, where do I go now? I'm just mm-hmm. at the airport by myself. You know, if you go to the airport at night, you see all these girlfriends holding up their signs for their, you know, LDR boyfriend who's uh, showing up. I didn't, I didn't get that. I didn't get that <laughs> sign. I didn't get uh, my girlfriend waiting. I feel, I'm so guawa. Guawa is so sad. Yeah. So I, uh, I went ahead and got a taxi. I think right. Um, take, I gave you instructions. To get yeah. a taxi. Get a taxi and. And she uh, told me what taxis to get. I yeah. guess to, so I don't get scammed to get the mm-hmm. regular taxis from the, the the airport. So I got a taxi. It took. She told her sister told me what um the bus what station. bus station to take uh-huh. me to. So the taxi took me to the bus station, and then I got on the bus station and mm-hmm. I got on the bus and I started heading away from Manila. To the province and so i was terrified because here i am in the middle of the city um on a bus going going to see uh my girlfriend for, up, the, first up for the first time <laughs> and she's in the hospital telling me she's gonna get cut as how did i know maybe by the time i get to the hospital she's dead i don't know <laughs> right so i'm on this bus terrified scared uh never been I mean, I'm around Filipinos and they're looking at me like, man, they could tell I'm a foreigner. Even if I look Filipino, they knew I'm not Filipino. So I get on this bus. We're heading out of Manila, right? And then all of a sudden, uh, probably like 30, 30 or 40 minutes. No, maybe. Three hours. It was a three hour. Two hours, maybe. Something. Yeah, it was longer because it was mm-hmm. a lot of stops. I, yeah. all, I remember is, all I remember is leaving the city. And then all I start seeing, and I'm getting scared, all I start seeing are palm trees. And all I start seeing is countryside. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm in the middle of nowhere. 
and then I'm going to see a girlfriend. I don't know where I'm going. Man, this this bus is going to drop me off in the middle of the jungle. I don't know <laughs> where I'm at, what I'm doing. I was just terrified, right? So, mm -hmm. um, your sister tells me mm -hmm. where to go. Yeah. So, I panic, right? And so she's uh, so I get off the bus thinking. Oh, because the bus driver says, uh, tells me, because I tell him where I'm supposed to go, but I guess he misunderstood. So yeah. he tells me, um, he comes up to me and say, hey, you got to get off this this stop right here. And I said, okay. Mm -hmm. So when I get off the stop, I realized um, there was a, there's a hospital there, mm -hmm. but I realized this is not the hospital. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. I said, I just got off the bus and there's people walking up and down the street and it's almost nighttime already. And I'm like, I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. I was like, they, I don't even know if they speak English or who to talk to. So uh, I asked somebody, I said, what do I do? I'm trying to get to the guy Thai uh, medical center. And then mm -hmm. so she, he says, oh, you got to get back on the bus. I said, what bus is in? And he said, any one of these buses, just take them. It'll go up there. Yeah. So I get on a bus. I get back on a, and there's buses going all the time. So I get on the bus again takes me to the guy thai finally i reached the guy thai medical center which is right off that that freeway uh mm -hmm. thank god it wasn't in a city or anything it was right off the right off that highway i get off and then i walk to her room and that was what the first time we that's met. the first time we've seen each other yeah first time and of course you know we're all like oh my oh, god you know here. I go over there and I, I want to choke her at first because she she just tells me that they're going to cut her, right? And then I find out the whole story that it was an appendicitis and she, mm -hmm. she had an appendectomy. So it all started from there and I got lucky, right? So from there, what happened? From there, the rest is history. Oh. We, spent, yeah, we spent time together for your next 10 days while I'm healing my wound. Yeah, so I ended up staying 10 days. And then um, got to meet her family, got to meet her mom, mm -hmm. and then the rest was history. We've been together for five years, um, almost six years already now. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's been great. It's been wonderful. And we'll go into details. I, we had all these, I had a list of everything, all these things I want to say, but I think the video is going to get too long and, skinny, and I might have to edit it <laughs> even more. Yeah. But, but is there anything you wanted to say? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Did I miss anything? Uh, that's it. And then after after your first visit, you visited again after a few months, and then mm -hmm. visited again. So I kept vid visiting, mm -hmm. right? Every few months, I would take a trip to come and see her. And then finally, uh, you decided to move. Then I decided to move. I said, I had enough of the visiting. I said, it's time to be with my honey full time. And I decided, you know what? I'm done with work. I'm retiring. And here I am. Yes. Ever since I just made the plunge and decided to move, I'm with my honey uh -huh. for the rest of our lives and happily ever after. But it wasn't no happily ever after when we met, and it was terror. Why? Especially for somebody that's never been to the Philippines and, and had to like yeah. sit on a bus. I could have easily scammed you. <laughs> yeah. And that's what you have to be careful about getting scammed. I got lucky. I think I would have did things a lot differently if she hadn't had her surgery. Mm -hmm. And I would have made that such a uh, rash decision to come the next day to come see her at the hospital. Mm -hmm. But it all worked out. And that's how we met. Yes. And the rest of history. So that's just a, a small portion of our lives. And we'll, we'll tell you about what else happened later. Mm -hmm. um, thank you guys for... Uh, listening to our, our my small little yes. story about how i got here to the philippines mm -hmm. thank you for watching guys if you like it don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and please hit the bell notification for any new videos that may come up and you can comment also we appreciate your time Bye -bye.